Okay guys, so for this one I had decided to continue playing on the casual difficulty because I'm playing this game just for the sake of the game and the story, not not for showing off or anything like that. I might consider playing hard difficulties on other games, maybe like something like this space. That'd be interesting. But for this game I think I'll just stick to casual. Oh hi! You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. And also, I'm going to do all the quests in this town, and I'll continue on. Yeah, so, that's pretty much it. This is after all a playthrough, not, not some not a speed or anything like that, it's just a playthrough. Hi Ninja, hi Ninja, you don't have to press with me anyway. You? Yeah, you have to press. You! You're perfect! Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. How the hell do you know his name? I don't recall you mentioning your name or, or his name. <laughs> I did. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about! Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! You know, you could just at least tell... tell me her name. <laughs> hey, dude. Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him 
instead of waffling about? Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. Can we toss him out the out the walls? Oh, dude. Why, hello there! I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally, but this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Afghustin, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Abgustin says hello. I think Airy Blacks even knows how to craft something dust. No quest, no quest. Okay, so about this game, there's this bug that when you continue pressing any button, when you leave when you leave the map, I mean the area, and when you get to the world map crashes the game. So in order to fix this, I have to do this. <laughs> that's Ivy Dale Glen? Holy crap dude, that's really far. Bombs, deadly creatures. Keep your distance. They will detonate if you get too close, but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath. Perfect for a ranged attack. Let me at him. Okay. That's not how. I fucked up. Just <laughs> be left. Holy hell! What am I doing? What? Okay. Maybe I have the right idea not not to play one hard difficulties yet. Oh, I see keys. Thank you. 
Let me guess, you're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? Really, I wouldn't just... want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. That's one hell of an optimism. One hell of an optimism? What? What? What did you say? That's one hell of those. That's one hell of those. Is very well, here's where Corbin dropped the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do my eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying. Wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. You are positively evil, Fidget. But... I didn't know I could do this. Boo! Boo, I say! You're no fun, Dust. No fun at all. Come on, Dust. Fidget, don't be me. Fidget, is something wrong? <laughs> She's been silenced, Dust. While in this state, she will be unable to cast her projectiles. Fortunately, the effect is only temporary and will fade over time. You mean Fidget can't talk now? At all? That's terrible. Really awful. Not <laughs> sure how I'll get by. Let me get up. Marshmallows and the hot dog, and I have no idea what the heck are these. I think it's a marshmallow. Mm -hmm. this pass, this mm -hmm. 
vamos a escoger. This game really has good music. Alright. Do you hear something flapping? What? That isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company! Obviously. Whoa, what the hell? Uh. Ha! Oh. Um. This? Can I drop anything on the floor? No, I can't open this. And so, oh, hi! Point when I'm the bloody killer, the door gate. There's a lot of you. Let's go down, boy. Ready? Hmm. 
Oh, yes. Whoa. It's just all chicken. What's up here? Find here a bit. making all that noise up there. 
Ah, uh, not intentionally. Uh, by the way, do you know you have bloms in the attic? <laughs> oh, those? They don't bother us. And they tend to keep the other monsters away. If I knew we were having company, I'd have cleared them out myself. Sorry about that, I guess. So, what brings you to this far outside Aurora? I'm assuming that's where you're from. I'm Dust, and this is my companion, Fidget. We're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. <laughs> Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Well, this doesn't look too hard. Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for you. Nice. Oh, I have enough. Sweet. Thanks, Haley. And, uh, just because I like you, I'll give you a blue resonance gem. Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Pass that this'll open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. Makes return trips a lot easier. So you can come and visit anytime you like. I'll be honest, even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. Hmm, well, my dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. If I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadie's forest. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you want it. Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem, so check for blue resonance gates in Abadie's forest. Need anything else? Let's talk. So, let's talk. Hmm. So, is blacksmithing the official family trade then? In a way, I guess. My father said I could be whatever I wanted, but when you grow up alongside a world-famous blacksmith, your options are fairly limited. Not that I mind, though. It's nice to have skills that are in demand these days. Everybody always needs something forged, whether it's amulets or armor. So, business is good? <sighs> it's... well, it's been better. Still... We make enough to keep things going, and that's the important thing. Aww. I notice it's only you and Maddie up here in the pass. Is it just you two? Not all the time, no. My father still runs the forge, but he's usually away on business. Right now, he's somewhere across the sea, hunting down new minerals and ores. He's always trying to make better weapons and armor. Sounds like he's always pretty busy. Yeah, but I get along fine by myself. And Maddie too, of course. I meant to ask before, does Maddie have a problem with me? What? Well, it's just, he seems to grumble a lot around me. I can attest to that. Lots of grumbling. I really can't say, Dust. Maddie, do you have anything to say? <laughs> well, I hope that answered your question. Uh, not really, but... Let it go, Dust. Just let it go. Yeah, there you go. Your forge is pretty far off the beaten path, Haley. Why set up shop so far outside Aurora? This forge is actually quite ancient. My father's 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 father inherited it from his mother's grandfather on her father's side. Dang. It was built during the Battle of Archers Pass many hundreds of years ago. The archers were holding off their enemies from way up here, but they needed a forge to replenish their arrows. So they built one right where they stood. It helped them take Archer's Pass, and from here, they were able to liberate the whole valley. Sounds like this forge has a lot of history behind it then. Even so... Location, location, location. <sighs> yeah, I hear what you're saying. I wish it was more accessible. We'd get more business, I'm sure of it. But it's not like we can just pick it up and move it. I'll bet if you had an army of trained rats, you can loot this place no problem. Uh, Fidgets, I don't think that'd help. You know, smart mutant rats with magic! Don't worry about her dust. Altitude sickness drives some creatures crazy. Fidget was pretty crazy before. Maybe we should be on our way. Need anything else? No, nope, I'm good. Thanks, Dust. Don't be long coming back. Yeah. <laughs> 
that went incredibly well. Do you know why? I don't know, Fidget. Why? Oh, don't be so dense. It's because she likes you. Fidget, what are you talking about? You didn't see the signals? She was giving you the signals. That's great, Fidget. Really, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, something here. <laughs> I guess we can see down the meme there's something there. Then here. Ow. That's not meant to happen. Oh! No! Ow! Seriously? Ow. Right, no death penalty. Dang go play casual. I'm a filthy flap. I'm such a filthy flap. But dang it. Oh, come on, that one counts. Oh, that works. Oh, no! Those things are everywhere. I'm scared. I hate those things, I really do. Hi buddies. Oh, okay, wait, no. I can move. I'm going to get rid of these bombs. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh. That's not my one. Okay. 
I come on, dude, I dodged that. Pass that little area. Oh. I see this. I go down. Oh. I want those coins. Come on. Ah, oh, they disappeared. Yeah. I don't know I could do that. This is the safe house I heard so much about. Meat boy, where are you? There you are. Ooh, what is this? The poor sense. Sweet. Okay, back to the village. Hey Bean. Hey kill him. You. I'll be honest, there ain't a whole lot here. But you find a shop near the east entrance. Thanks, Augustine. Maybe we'll drop by. Oh. You. Alright, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient type, and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he all right? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kinda hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. <laughs> Moving on. I haven't been to Denham yet. 
think I have a key, right? <laughs> Show me your secrets. Cinnamon <laughs> bun. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, yes, Quest. Oh, hello again. Thank you so much for helping me before. You're welcome, Corbin. And just be a little smarter next time, all right? It's too dangerous out there for a kid like you. And don't worry about Gianni. I'll sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry. <sighs> yes, Fidget. Like the laundry. Okay, okay. Thanks again. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Well, I... You're so strong, I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000 hit combo. Uh... Of course he wouldn't. He could do it in his sleep. Sleep combo! Fidgets, calm down. Whoa. Do you really think you could do it? A 1,000 hit combo? Sure, why not? Oh, wow, awesome. Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, this one's for Corbin! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. You're kidding me, right? Oh, I'm not going combo? Jeez. How long have I been playing this already? I think it's about an hour? Or 40 minutes? You know what, I think I'll end it here. So I'll see you guys next time. And don't worry. I think since we finished some some of the quests in this town, so we can progress to the story on the eh, story later. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.